Hi everyone, in this week's episode of the Trump administration, we're all going to die, I'll be taking a look at climate change, since, you know, Donald Trump seems to think it's actually a hoax created by the Chinese and gets in the way of business, which is probably why he signed an executive order undoing everything Obama has done in the name of protecting our planet. But to get a better understanding of where our current administration's head's at against climate change, let's start by listening in on the House Science Committee hearing on this matter, a committee that does exactly the opposite of what it was named after. Kind of like the Hobby Lobby. Today we will examine the scientific method as it relates to climate change. Lamar Smith, examining the scientific method is kind of like asking a goat to examine my car. Woefully underprepared, but insanely entertaining. However, I'll probably die if I drive that car. And in this analogy, the car is our fucking planet. That the underlying science that informs policy decisions is based on credible scientific methodology. Spoiler alert, Smith will do none of that on this day. I believe that climate is changing and that humans play a role. I, I also agree with this. It's almost like uh, this isn't the same guy who harassed federal scientists and has started an ideological crusade against climate change. But just wait, there's opportunity for more. Far too often, alarmist theories on climate science originate with scientists who operate outside of the principles of the scientific method. Yes, and climate change denier Lamar Smith very much operates within the principles of the scientific method. For example, he knows how to read the definition of the scientific method from a piece of paper, which he does around five times in his opening statement. The scientific method is a simple process. I'm not gonna do that to you though. Let's move on to the good stuff, like when Smith gets to exactly why he's really having this meeting. You know, to launch baseless accusations against the scientific community, the very same community that this committee is supposed to be supporting. Alarmist predictions amount to nothing more than wild guesses. Yeah, there you go, science. Just a bunch of wild guessers. So silly. The ability to protect far into the future is impossible. Anyone stating they know what the climate will be in 500 years, or even at the end of the century, is not credible. Yeah, except that's literally what you're doing right now. You're just saying that the scientists are wrong and that you're right. The only difference is they're actual scientists and you're a Christian scientist. Also, please, let's take a pause here to just fully appreciate the irony that someone who thinks scientific advancements like modern medicine are invalid and that the real cure for cancer is prayer and that someone is the chairman of the fucking House Science Committee. Their ultimate goal appears to be to promote a personal agenda. What personal agenda? What is it? Is this a cons- Are you- Is this a conspiracy theory? Or, or, or wait, do you mean like the personal agenda you had when you literally issued subpoenas to everyone who tried to investigate ExxonMobil for the company's creation of a committee back in 1968 tasked with actively undermining the truth about climate change? You mean a personal agenda like that one? But the hypocrisy goes twofold when Smith goes back into describing the scientific method once again and then talks about biases. In the field of climate science, there is legitimate concern that scientists are biased in favor of reaching predetermined conclusions. This inevitably leads to alarmist findings that are wrongfully reported as facts. Wait, is that why you overwhelmingly stacked your witnesses against the one scientist who represents the scientific consensus against three climate change deniers who said shit like this today? Let's make scientific debate about climate change great again. Yeah, that sounds real unbiased. Let's talk about how the scientific community doesn't tolerate nonconformist ideas with a panel that is disproportionately against climate change. But wait, there's more! Lamar's not gonna put up with bullshit. However, a recent survey found that 70% of scientific researchers have tried and failed to reproduce the experiments conducted by other scientists. The lack of reproducibility is a warning that the scientific method is not being followed. While this is true, the reproducibility number covers all scientific studies, not just one involving climate change. Also, the process of conducting studies, publishing results, and other scientists conducting their own studies to see if they get similar results is how the scientific community reaches a consensus. That is the scientific method. And based on that process, we've reached a scientific consensus around anthropogenic climate change, you ugly tie-wearing asshat. And that's why claiming that climate change is not real is no different than claiming that the world isn't flat or that gravity doesn't exist or that the earth doesn't spin around the sun, which is creepily similar to the persecution of Galileo. Glad to see how far Christians have come since then. Hey, at least we're not literally burning scientists at the cross in inquisitions. We're just scaring the shit out of them in an effort to silence them. If that causes you to become subject to congressional inquiries and Freedom of Information Act requests, obviously that's very stifling. And I think the intention is to cause scientists to retreat. But perhaps, 
Donald's administration is actually doing this for progress. Only in desperate times do we humans finally see the writing on the wall and decide to change our awful ways. So maybe Trump is just really trying to exacerbate the problem brought on by industrialization, speed up the destruction of our planet as it erodes to levels where even asshats like Lamar Smith can observe the issue from their comfortable Texas mansions. Will it be too late by then? Who knows? But I guess we're all gonna die anyway. I'm Hassan Piker. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Hassan D. Piker and on Twitter at Hassan the Hun. And this has been The Breakdown.